Whoa, dudes, welcome back to my studio. I want to show you something totally gnarly. It's a shark's tooth pendant. Want to go make one? Oh, let's do it. These are all fossilized shark's teeth that I got at a gem and jewelry show one time. I got a big bag of them. And they come in all shapes and sizes and different colors. And some of them you can see the striations in them. This one I think is really interesting because it has the second tooth. Very cool. And I think I'm going to work with this one today. I'm going to start with a small amount of clay because you don't want your pendant to get bulky real fast, which it will when you start adding details. And I'm just going to fold that over and kind of sandwich the tooth in. The second part that I need for sure is a piece that you will a loop at the top so that you can put a cord through there. And that's usually pretty, pretty sturdy. So you don't want this part to be too thin. But you also don't want it to be too thick because there again you get real bulky real fast. Fold it in half and decide which is the front, which is the back. This is the back. So I'm going to add this loop onto the back. Now I'm going to bring them over the top with this skewer right there and then I'm going to wrap this around and wrap this woo, around and I want to make sure that that is good and attached and it certainly will be now on the front I want to add a special bead this is a just a glass bead and it has some luminescence to it that I really like and I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to roll out a snake to go around that one and give me a few more curls too. Let's go this way. Okay, now I've got my bead trapped in there. You can see that I've added three little dots to the front and now I'm going to texturize. And I'm going to texture it because when I do the antiquing, it will look fabulous. I want to use something that is blunt but will also go deep. And that's going to help you attach all of your pieces. Bake according to the directions. I'm excited. Oh, also, only use glass beads or natural stone beads because plastic beads will melt in the oven. Dudes, I'm Candace, and I think it's cool to craft. <laughs>